Coach Echeverry, very kind words during the week for Steve Cook, saying this is a very well-coached team. Toro Stampede, their fan group here, making a lot of noise with the drums before the game. And this is a through ball shot, getting a piece of it. Fantastic touch there. You see Valeski. Oh, he thought he had number eight, but what a play by Nico Cordy. Harris again sends it in. And look at the speed by Alex Dixon. He is electric. Into the box, a strike and a goal. So Christian Valeski gets on the board. He was just barely denied a moment ago by a terrific save by Cordy, but not this time. Valeski with goal number eight. In a station, Burrell forward. You denied him a moment ago. He will not be denied right there. Well, now we can have to see if RGV can come from behind. Here's another opportunity. Dixon shot and a score. Now, and another great build up. This one over the top and just the rocket shot. The corner, they keep it low on the turf. Can they get a shot off? The strike and a score. This was well played to just keep it in the area of his career in the state of Florida. Guess who? Again, Valeski. Beautiful volley there. And assisted by Alex Dixon, who has the other goal here tonight. Longest that we've seen OKC possess the ball in the entire second half. Long ball, finds John, puts it up in the air, shoots, and scores. Game of soccer. Ball sent forward. He corrals it after the initial save. C will have to be a roar, road warrior team because they only have two home matches remaining. Another good opportunity. Shot deflected and just out of the reach and wide left. John almost had another one. It's worked out just fine for OKC. Kai Green, his cross sails out. The collision right here in the penalty area. That will go on Chavez, who's going to plead his case with Becky and company. The PK. Scores! And RGV, as Coach Etcheberry said, they're running out of matches. I mean, they were confident. They thought they could make a run here late in the season. But, you know, this was a critical one because you're home. They've been so tough at home.